Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I would like to share with all of you a message given by our Lord Jesus Christ to Marie Julie Jeheni. Please take a moment in sharing this video with others, as we hope that this video will reach as many people as possible to the conversion of sinners and salvation of souls. Let us humbly ask the Most Holy Spirit to lead us in all ways, including the discerning of this message. And with trust and love, please join me and say, Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful. Grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations, through Christ our Lord, Amen. An Ecstasy Dated October 1, 1875 Our Lord Speaks France, hear my voice, you will have much to suffer for 14 days of terrible combats. During those 14 days of war, there will be chastisements. If my people knew how it is on the verge of a triumph, it could not contain its joy. It would pray every day, and by these prayers, receive consolation. It would be, even before the victory, a mark of recognition. France, in these days of combat, do not be sad, you will not lose courage. When the foreigner will fall upon France, it is by a revealed prayer that will suppress and disperse him. He will fall upon France as a raging lion, with all his fury, with all the weapons of wickedness, to subdue the French people and the sacrifice. My hand, invisible, will fall upon him. France, without my mother, you would never be relieved of your burdens. If the triumph is awarded thee so fast, it is the grace of Mary, to her tears, her supplications. France, you will have a terrible fight for King Henry, who must bring peace and harmony in his homeland. You will have less trouble to defend the Holy Church. Remember that the deliverance of the Holy Father will be terrible, however, less terrible than the fight for the king. France will need a strong arm on the first day, the battle will be fought by the sky, the second day by men. Brothers and sisters, especially in these times, let us not fear but instead, to pray very much and prepare ourselves both spiritually and physically. We should trust in the power and efficacy from praying, because this is a time where total trust in God is more than needed. With our strength, we are limited, but for God all things are possible. Brothers and sisters, let us not despair nor become despondent in these times of trials, but always strive to be holier every day by not sinning and the doing of good works. May God help us all in these times. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. O glorious Prince Saint Michael, Chief and Commander of the Heavenly Hosts, Guardian of Souls, Vanquisher of Rebel Spirits, Servant in the House of the Divine King and our Admirable Conductor. You who shine with excellence and superhuman virtue, deliver us from all evil who turn to you with confidence, and enable us by your gracious protection to serve God more and more faithfully every day. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, 
or sought by an intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother, to thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our afflictions, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ, O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O oh, our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield too, each one of us by your constant protection, so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. Let us also recite the act of contrition together to ask God for forgiveness over all of the mortal, venial, and public sins which we have committed. That he may grant us the grace to feel remorseful over all these sins, bring us to true repentance, and to give us the necessary graces to do all of the necessary penances and atonement for our sins and to never commit these grievous sins anymore. O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because of thy just punishments, but most of all because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you for watching and may God pour down an abundance of graces and blessings upon all of us. Till next time, stay blessed and keep praying.